Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar, The Power of Thoughts and Health. My name is Susan Velakis, and I will be your host for this event. We have quite a large audience joining us today, so all lines have been muted, and we will not be taking questions during or after the webinar. But that said, we will take questions by email. So please, if you have a question, go ahead and use that chat bubble that you see on your screen, submit your question, and then you will receive a reply by email. I'd also like to let you know that you will receive an email about an hour after this event ends with a link to the replay of today's lecture so you can listen to it again or share it with others. Today's webinar is sponsored by the National Health Research Institute, which was founded by the late Elwood Richard. NHRI is a nonprofit organization that supports science based research on natural health and wellness and is committed to informing the public about scientific evidence on the usefulness and cost effectiveness of diet, supplements, alternative therapies, and a healthy lifestyle. And you can learn more about the NHRI and find a plethora of information on various natural health topics by visiting naturalhealthresearch.org. And now I'm delighted to welcome Dr. Patrick Massey as our guest speaker for today's presentation, The Power of Thoughts and Health. Dr. Massey received his medical degree from Rush Medical School and completed his residency in internal medicine at Rush Medical Center. His PhD is in immunology from Northwestern University Graduate School of Medicine, and he also holds his doctorate in spiritual studies from Delphi University. Currently, he is the president of Alt-Med Medical and Physical Therapy Integrative Medicine and the author of the book, Miracles or I Have No More Boils. Dr. Massey is also on staff at the Alexian Brothers Medical Center and is the past director of the program in complementary and alternative medicine for the Alexian Brothers Hospital Network. He's a longtime featured writer for the Daily featured writer, excuse me, for the Daily Herald newspaper, and he has published extensively in the traditional and non-traditional medical literature in both laboratory and clinical research. With that impressive background, please join me in welcoming Dr. Patrick Massey as he explores the life-altering power of your thoughts and your health. Welcome, Dr. Massey. Well, thank you, Sue, for, for that, that really, really nice in, in introduction. And I want to um, welcome everybody who's, who, who's, who's here for the uh, lecture. Thank, thank you for, 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 for attending. Um, and I also want to thank the, uh, the NHRI and, 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 and all the folks associated with it for actually making, making this, this pre presentation a uh, reality. Um, and I've, I, I told Sue that that I uh, I've, I've given many lectures, and I've even given lectures online. But this is the first time I've ever given it live online. So uh, if I if I make a few uh, a few faux faux pas, please uh, uh, forgive me. Uh, today's lecture um, is 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 on the 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 the, the power of, of your thoughts to affect your health. But it's not a it's not a review of all the medical literature that's out there uh, saying if you've, you know, it can help you with this and help you with that. I think more importantly is uh, we, we need to really understand what thoughts actually are and, and why thoughts, which are, uh, which is a form of, of, of basically energy, why thoughts actually affect, affect can affect your physical health. And we're going to go into this and we're going to uh, be de describing how how this ac actually works so that we have a really good un understanding uh, and, 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 not, and not just uh, uh, a, a cursory, uh, a cur 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 cursory un understanding of it. So when we look at the word man, either as human or man or woman or, or however we, we use the word, the word man, the, the entomologic origin actually comes from Sanskrit, from the word manu. And manu means to think or thought or thinker. So the way that we describe ourselves, uh, at least in English, the way that we de describe ourselves is as, as thought. You could, you could imagine that we describe ourselves as a physical representation of thought or a physical rep representation of a thinker, and 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 if that's the the case, then then we would certainly say, well, our, our thoughts probably should have some effect on our on our own physical well-being and our physical health. 
Okay, so so thoughts thoughts do um, uh, affect our, our 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 health. And if I go to the National Library of Congress, there's an area in the National Library of Congress called PubMed, and that's where all the medical studies and and, and scientific uh, uh, studies and publications are published uh, from across the uh, world. So it's it's a, there's there's a great deal of of information there. And when I when I when I go to, to PubMed and I simply look under the word thought and and and, and health or thought and physical health, I find over 7,000 uh, med medical ar articles uh, describing the, the effect of thought that has on our, our physical health and our well-being without, without, without even looking at specific illnesses or diseases or, or even mechanisms. If I look at mental health, uh, it, it, it's even more. So thoughts affect our physical health and thoughts can affect our, our, ment our mental health uh, of over 9,000 st 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 studies and publications at uh, Pub PubMed. And surprisingly, when, when I looked at spiritual health, which is something that we normally uh, don't address in, in uh in traditional medicine, or we don't normally address in uh, basic research, uh, there, there there were over 400 articles uh, talking about how thoughts can can affect our our spiritual health. So we can see that thoughts, that even in the traditional medical literature, that thoughts can uh, can affect all how how we define ourselves physically, mentally, and spiritually. But when we think about thoughts, we we think about our brain, and 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 that that's and we've been taught to to do that. We've been taught that that when you have a thought, it happens in your brain, and that thought has some effect on um, on on the endocrine system or some thought on the immune system, and it and again it causes these 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 physiologic trans, trans, transformations. But considering how complex thoughts are, so if you think about your thoughts on a daily basis, how many thoughts you have, how many thoughts you have had in your lifetime, uh, and 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 you can remember them. So it's not only having a thought, but it's remembering the thought, it's processing and reprocessing and organizing. We start to run into some physical limit limitations uh, uh, with with the with the brain itself, because we don't think with the whole brain. Most of the brain is is not. Um, uh, used for thought, most of, of the, and we'll, we'll go through this, most of the brain is used to process other information. So when, when we think about, about thought and, and, and all the things that we think about and all the things that we've learned and we remember and, and, and you throw in emotions in there too, it's, it's really uh, much too complicated for our physical brain, considering that uh, as when we reach adulthood, we, we lose uh, about a million neurons a day. So be between early ad adulthood and, and la later in life, uh, our, our brains are not getting bigger, our brains are getting smaller. So if thought was happening only in our brains, we would be doing, we would have less thinking going on or less ability to think than we did when, when we were very young. And that's that's not the uh, case. So really think thinking, uh, uh, is much too com complicated for the for the brain by 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 itself. So we need to expand our understanding. We need to kind of take a step outside of ourselves, and 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 then say, well, if it's if it's not happening here, where where is it going going on? And and does it make sense? And it does it make sense? So let's look at that the uh, science. Whenever I have uh, questions or uh, don't understand uh, so some, something, I, I, will, I will try to find, uh, look at, at, at the science and see does the science fit what, what, whatever it is that I'm being told. And, and sometimes it does, and, and some, sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, then, then you really have to start digging into areas that um, may be un, unfamiliar. And that's actually kind of, kind of fun. So I hope we're gonna have, have some fun, fun here, here today. Okay, so let's look at the brain. This is a, dep a depiction of, 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 of the uh, brain. This is part of the brain back here. This huge piece, piece of the brain sitting in the back of your head is associated with, um, with vi vi vision and processing, processing vi vis visual ac ac activity, which is the reason why if you fall down and you hit the back of your head on the ground, you start seeing stars. And that's because this part of the brain has been, has been bruised and, and that's, that's the, 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 uh, the uh, re result. So this part of your brain is, is associated with, with processing visual stuff. This part of part of your brain, this blue part, part of your large part of your of, of your brain, is associated with uh, pro processing processing senses, uh, touch and heat 
and cold and pain and and many, many and our our physical our phys physical sense senses is processed in this very large piece of the brain here. This large piece of the brain here is uh, is involved with with the processing of our of our physical move movement, our standing, our walking, uh, moving our our our, our jaws. Uh, move, moving our eyes, whatever it is that we need, we need to, to do. It's associated in this part of the brain here. This part of the brain down down here, and this yellow part of the brain is really associated with hear, hearing. And this is the, and this is a large area, and and it's associated with processing uh, uh, what it is that we hear. This little area of the brain, brain here, it's called the Wernicke's area, and this is where we understand speech. So if somebody's talking to you, um, it's being this is being initially processed in 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 some some areas, and then is is finally uh, put together here, so we can un understand speech. And this here, the uh, Broca's area, is how we un 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 is how how we understand speech and are able to actually actually to speak. This little tiny area right up up here is where it's believed that we process all of our thoughts. And where where our thinking comes 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 from is in this 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 little tiny tiny area area here, which is probably one sixth or less of of the uh, total the, of the total brain. So given the complexity of thought itself, and given the fact that we're losing a million neur neurons a day um, uh, since 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 early early at, at, at adulthood, it becomes increasingly difficult to say. Uh, to to uh, say that this is the, that this is the area of the brain where, where where all of our thoughts and memories are are at and and uh, and there, there's 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 no there's actually no good good evidence to, to support that so let's let, let let's just 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 ask a couple couple of questions uh, where does where, do we know where a thought originates where uh, where the thought finally comes from and the answer is no we actually have have no no idea we simply assume it is some somewhere in the uh, brain that that thought the thought thoughts originate how are thoughts linked together so when you have a thought there's always another thought coming with it and another thought and another thought how are they linked now if they were linked permanently we would always have the same thoughts but we don't so our thoughts are able to link and unlink and reassemble and and and, and the complexities involved with this uh, are 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 ex 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 exceedingly uh, large um, how do we organize a thought so how do we know that we're going to have a thought and it's going to be organized in a certain way that we can understand it and 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 this next quest question i think is is critical is how do we interpret a thought how do we know that we're actually having a thought? We have to have a thought on the thought that we're having in order to understand the thought. That's a that's a level of com complexity that that even quantum computers uh, uh, could, couldn't couldn't deal 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 with. Um, where is inspiration located? Where do you get these sudden bursts of ins of inspiration and this di 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 discovery? We have no idea where 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 they're where they're located. Uh, we simply assume it's located in that little front part part of the brain. How do we learn and retain new stuff? The fact that we can learn our entire lives and we can retain stuff our entire lives and still be losing a million neurons a day, you have to say the the the, the brain at some point in time becomes incapable of, of of even you know rationally saying that this is 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 where all this stuff is going on and why are some people more uh, smarter or talented so pe people with higher iqs tend to have a little bit denser uh concentration of neuro neurons it doesn't mean that 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 everybody with the dense with den denser concentration of neuro neurons is smart that's not true we simply look at 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 that and say well this person is smart because they have more neuro neurons but it doesn't answer any of the other the other, the other questions where where is talent at okay um, i can't play the pian piano but some people can where is that located at okay it, uh, uh, and if i practice really really hard i could play the piano so where where did that come from? Where is 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 that that ability at? And and these these are these are things that we look at and we go. If we try to explain that all that stuff, along with all the thinking we do and everything that we do, is 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 located in 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 that 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 little tiny tiny area in the front front of the uh, of the brain, we are probably. Um, uh, d diluting our, 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 our diluting ourselves and and uh, and so science has, has has a very difficult time in in uh, uh, ex 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 explain, explain, explaining thoughts 
So, whoops, no, no, no. There we, here we go. So, um, I'm just going to back up a second. Okay, there we are. Um, so, the, the the brain is an organ that processes information. It processes information from 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 your eyes, information from your ears, information from your senses, information from your motor function. It its main function is to process information, not to think. And 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 we 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 tend to really. Um, uh, ignore that because it doesn't fit with with what what we 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 un, we un, un, un understand in uh, science so what it means is that thoughts may not originate inside of the, phys the the physical brain and that's and that's an idea that in in the United States in in, in Western medicine mess Western science that we have a very difficult time 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 with um, in other culturally based medical sy systems or in other culturally based science sy 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 systems um, they believe that the, that the human body is composed of various energy sy 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 systems and and these energy systems play a play a role in in our, our overall health and in our thoughts and we'll 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 go over that but for for, for right now let's 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 change change gears because we're not going to find the answers that the, the for the questions that we're asking in traditional medicine we're not going to find it in in in, in, in traditional physiology metabolism we're, we're going to have to take a take a little side side road in in into physics Sir Isaac Newton back in the city was born in 1642 uh, one of the most brilliant minds in 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 uh, re recorded West 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 Western science um, believed that matter and energy were different that matter and energy were different he actually he actually defined energy by its effect upon matter he couldn't even define energy so so uh, heat is energy because it heats up matter uh, light is energy because it lights up a room so he, he so and, and this is has been the, the, the concept in science this has been the concept in traditional medicine uh, for the past uh, 300 years it, it hasn't really changed so in, in our concepts in medicine and our concepts in many aspects of science matter and energy are different so we, we're constantly trying to explain things without re realizing that matter and energy are e equivalent so Al Albert Einstein back in 1905 came up with, with a series of uh, re revolutionary theories one of his theories of relativity said that E equals MC squared which and which means that energy is equal to mass uh, accelerated uh, at the speed of light squared which means that 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 matter and energy are interchangeable I can change energy into matter and I can change matter into energy by simply rearranging this equation. We don't have the necessarily have the technology to, to, to do it all, but 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 the, the math was 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 very very solid. And at, at about the, the same time, there were, there were there were two scientists, Neil, Niels Bohr, and Max Planck, came up with the idea of quantum physics. Now, years ago, no, nobody heard of quantum physics. Now it's become re, not an un, un, unfamiliar term. And this came out, and, and this was done about the same time that Einstein was coming up with with this series. And what Niels Bohr and Max Planck said is that everything is energy, and that was revolutionary. And it continues to be be revolutionary. And this is where we need to we need to be when we're thinking about thought. And let me explain that not in, in, like, like this. Let's look at the hydrogen atom. It's one. It's 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 one 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 electron and it's one pro pro proton. And ninety nine percent of ninety nine point nine 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 percent of this atom is empty space. Uh, now it's not empty. It's actually full of energy. But but it's it, it's we perceive it in Newtonian physics where you have matter and energy. We perceive it as being empty space. So the hydrogen atom is basically uh, almost not not there. Uh, the uh, e e electron really has no mass. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a uh, an energy waveform. A pro proton, however, is composed of uh, of smaller particles called quarks uh, uh, sounds like something that's like a noise a duck duck could make and uh, a, a proton is composed of three three quarks two up quarks and one down quark and that and 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 quarks really don't have any mass quarks are energy waves so a proton um, is composed of nothing more than energy waves which means that the hydrogen atom is actually a miniature force field made up of energy waves it has no physical matter to it when you get down to the smaller and small small smaller pieces all matter uh, in in the universe that we know of is made up of atoms and therefore all matter 
is nothing more than than n energy and 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 energy waves. And this is the, the concept that that is critical for understanding how our thoughts uh, of affect affect us. So the, the 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 universe, everything in the universe, the planets, the suns, the galaxies, the uh, 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 the asteroids, every, everything is is just energy vibrating at different frequencies. This energy moves, it interacts, and it endures. And that that's what what an, an energy does. And thoughts, whoops, whoops, there we go. Thoughts are our energy also, because there's no mass to, to a thought. You can't you can't put a thought on a scale and say it weighs it weighs two it weighs two pounds. It's energy. It moves. We know that that, that it moves. It interacts. The the fact that thoughts affect affect your your, your own physical health means that it, that it's interacting, and it and we'll we'll, we'll see that thoughts that uh, thoughts can in, can endure, good or 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 bad. So if everything in the universe is energy, that means that we are also energy. We, we may have a physical appearance, but that's just an illusion uh, from, from our point, point, point of view. We make a lot of electricity every single day. Every, every time your, your, your muscles move, your heart beats, every time your brain uh, does anything, it, it, it creates electricity. So when you look at an EKG and you see those, those little blips that they see on, on the EKG, that's red, registering the, the, the electrical current moving through your body. With a changing electrical current, we create a measurable magnetic field. So we are all living mag mag magnets. Uh, we create a huge amount amount of uh, heat on 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 a daily a daily basis, uh, and, and and heat is is energy. How is that regulated? How do we not burn up? How do we freeze? How does my right hand not be 15 degrees warmer than my left left hand? We have no idea how that act actually works, uh, and 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 because we 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 have a perceived mass. We, we do have a measurable measurable gravitational field and we emit a, a wide a wide range of light from infrared all the way to ultraviolet and some recent re research out of Japan a few years ago was showing that that humans actually emit light in the visible range so you can see somebody you can see light now for there are some people in, in this world who are able to see um, energy fields and they are able to see the energy fields of, of living or, or, or organisms because we have a lot of energy and then they're commonly called auras and, and, and anybody can learn how to see an aura in, in, in about 20 minutes it's, it's not not hard 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 to, to do but it is the these energy fields that that are that play a critical role um, in our own health and in our in our our own thoughts so when 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 we look at 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 oriental medicine we look at, at traditional oriental medicine they believe that we have we have an energy field that's filled full of en an energy called chi and that and that chi and energy has a has a critical role in our health uh, when you use acupuncture needles you are not moving endorphins and circulation you're actually moving energy from one part of the body to the other or from one aspect of the body to the other the same thing in uh, in in and that, that goes in an oriental medicine uh, acupuncture, massage therapy, uh, uh, qigong breathing, herbs, supplements, all these things affect the energy field. That's the concept behind it. Same thing in India with Ayurvedic medicine and their concept of energy, which is prana. It's the exact same thing as qi, except it's just a, di a different word. So the, 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 there are, the, there are um, science systems outside of West Western science that do believe that we have all these these uh, in, in intricate and in, in interrelated energy systems outside of the uh, phys of the physical bo 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 body there is no specific location in, in the brain that stores thoughts we, we just we, we've never found found it I can't take out a little piece of the brain and they say this is where um, you know all of the thoughts when you were five year, 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 years old this is where they're stored they're not they're they're all over the they're there you we just can't find it so that it implies that there is an unrealized bioenergy system perhaps uh, uh not inconsistent with that which we see in traditional chinese medicine or traditional oriental medicine and even in our our, our, our Ayurvedic medicine and and then even native, native native american medicine believe that there were that there is that that we are linked with a bioenergy system Matter of fact, I, I just read an article a couple of day, day, days ago in one of the physics journals uh, where they proposed that the human brain is actually linked 
with everything in the universe in, in, in a quantum field using something called fractals. I'm not going to go into that, but but this this is a science. But the science that there is more to us than what we can just physically see uh, seems to become a it is becoming a uh, re reality. I'm going to de uh, describe an energy system that I think I think um, uh, works works well. There are many ways of de de describing it. This, this this one is pretty simple for me, uh, and and so that's the reason why why I like it. We we have an energy field called the etheric body, and it's it's an energy field that that that, that is at the absolute identical to our physical body, all the way down to the um, subatomic particles. And it's this etheric field, in, if, for the purposes of this lecture, is the, the etheric field which is intimately involved in our own health. If our etheric field is very strong, the etheric etheric field provides um, energy to our physical body in, in order to be healthy. If our etheric field is weak, uh, it, it, uh, it starts to develop holes and, and it, that opens up the uh, door for, for illness and, and, and disease. We also have, have, have another an, an energy field called, it, called the astral or the emotional field that sits outside of the etheric body. And that's where our emotions are, are lo located. And we also have a mental uh, field, which is look, which is even, even far farther out. Now, how do these 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 these, these things in, in in interact? Well, we have a thought outside of our body because it's much more complicated and can handle the the, the complications of ment mental thought. It has to travel through the the astral field where it picks up an, an an emotion, and now we have a thought at an emotion that 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 goes cra crashing into the into the etheric field, and 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 if it's a negative thought at a negative emotion, it causes is damage to the etheric body, ultimately resulting in damage to the physical body, and 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 it also the, the as, as it goes through the etheric uh, etheric body, this thought travels up to the brain where the information is processed, where we where we can now think and realize that we're thinking. As we do do this, we also release our thoughts in this direction also. So if it's a positive thought, it strength strengthens the etheric field from the outside, and then it also strengthens the etheric field from the inside. So we, we get a double hit. If it's a negative thought and a negative emotion, it does just the opposite. It weakens the etheric body from the outside and weakens the etheric body from the in the inside. And that's how that's part of the way, part of the reason why why our, our thoughts have have a have a positive effect or a negative effect on, on our physical bodies. Thoughts come basically in, in two, two forms. They come as waves where there's not a specific target. These are often random in nature. These are just our, our, our everyday thoughts with what, what we're, we're, we're think, thinking about. Uh, I, I've got to go to the store. I got to get gas. Uh, my, my taxes are due. Uh, I got, you know, things like, like, like this. And they're ran, random in na na nature. They're, they're, they're diffuse. And these, these thoughts weaken over, over this, this distance. Um, However, when you're in when when you're in large groups, you 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 can get this group thought, and that resonates with like energy. If you've ever been to a to a sporting event, if you've ever been to a professional football game, uh, throughout the the, uh, the the game, you can feel the the energy as everybody is resonating at the same freak frequency. They're really happy, they're really sad, they're really angry, they're really glad, and, and it can it can be exhausting. And if these and if these uh, thoughts are are in a large enough group, it ends up almost being like a rogue wave on, on the ocean where these massive waves come uh, uh, come at you. And if it's a good rogue, rogue wave, it's a positive rogue, rogue, rogue wave, then then your 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 etheric bo 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 body gets a real benefit. If it's a bad rogue wave, then your your etheric body is hit pretty hard. I remember after after watching the uh, uh, the uh, Bears lose consistently to the Green Green Bay, Bay Packers. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not so much a Packers fan, but I am a Bears fan. I always feel bad. I always feel bad. And after after a pa after um, a Bears Bears game, when I was working in, in the emergency room, when the Bears game would be over, and if they lost, I would have a great influx of patients. If they won, it, it was pretty 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 quiet. And it has has to do, I think, with these these thoughts. There, another uh, uh, structure that thoughts take is as, as a form. It's a specific thought. It has an intention. It has a form. It, it, it has has a structure, and there is a specific target. So if you're wishing somebody good good feelings, I'm wishing my 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 husband or my wife good 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 feelings. I'm sending them love. I'm I'm, I'm sending good thoughts to, to to somebody so that they'll 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 heal. That's a that, that's a very specific thought. Um, there's no uh, distance that it that it that it it, it can go. 
where it will lose uh, strength. It, it maintains its strength for uh, on, on, until it reaches its its specific tar tar target. You could be, and, and we do the same things to ourselves, either positively or neg negatively, and we'll go about that. And there's a specific effect, and this and this effect may persist because that form can persist for a long time. It can be recharged. So if you're sending somebody good thoughts on a daily basis, that thought form standing over by that person is constantly recharged or you could be doing it if you if you're thinking uh, uh, bad thoughts to say about your about yourself well that thought form is standing right right next next to you and is con constantly pounding on on your etheric bo bo body increasing the risk of of illness and and disease okay when we look at hum humans one one of the problems when we look at at our thoughts is all, all of our thoughts have emotions and we don't do a very good job on controlling our emotions. They're very poorly controlled, they're chaotic, uh, they're in constant tur turmoil, our emotions are up and down and up and down. Um, I, I have pay pay patients who are actually proud of, of the fact that they say they can't control their emotions. I'm a very emotional person, I'm proud of that, you know, and blah, 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 blah. But but it's exhaust, exhausting, it, it, it's exhausting because the etheric body, which is, where, which is what keeps your, your body healthy, is constantly being being pounded by 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 wave and wave and wave over const, con, constant uh, 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 emotions. Our thoughts uh, in, in the mental layer are also in, in this particular point in time are also poor poorly structured structured. We have very limited time or desire for really deep think thinking, and it may be because of our technology where we have have an instant access to almost everything. So we don't really have to think about any, any, any anything, and we can always go on somebody else's opinion uh, without really really having having to think about it. And, and, and the third thing about our thoughts is that, and I'll, I'll go into this in a minute, is we have this constant outpouring of mostly negative thoughts. So if you were to sit down with a pen and paper and, 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 and check off every time you have a positive thought or a healthy thought, as opposed to every time you have a negative thought, you would find that most of, most of your thoughts are coming up, are coming up quite, quite negative. So we have negative thoughts with chaotic emotions crashing into our etheric body, uh, creating uh, really this, this, this world of, of illness and, and disease, and, and it's not getting better as science has, and medicine has gotten better. It's not getting better. It's actually getting worse. Uh, patients are more complicated. The disease is more common. It's happening earlier in our lives. Things that didn't happen in, in, until our 30s or 40s are happening in now, now in, 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 in our teens, and it has to do, I feel, with, with, uh, with, with our, with our uh, thoughts. So, our thoughts will de 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 determine our, our health. So if you have positive thoughts, you're gonna be healthier. If you have negative thoughts, you're not gonna be healthy. The, the Dalai Lama said, uh, consider that not only do negative thoughts and emotions destroy our experience of peace, and, and peace is a wonderful thing. That we, have, we all talk about wanting some, but we very rarely get there, but they also undermine our health. It's only during quiet. It's only during, if you look at Chinese medicine, it's only during the yin phase, not the yang phase. It's only during the quiet, uh, when our bodies become quiet, when our minds become quiet, when we turn to more positive thoughts, that is the only time that our bodies actually heal. They don't heal when we're physically active running around. Okay, so let's just look at, 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 at some thoughts that, 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 that fo fo follow with us every single day. Anxiety, contempt, guilt, shame, disgust, hatred, jealousy, Fear is is absolutely huge. I, I I have many many patients where fear is 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 the major reason why they 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 have any illnesses whatsoever. Self low low loathing is absolutely huge, especially especially among young 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 women and middle middle aged women feeling of of inadequacy. And I'm seeing it more ha ha happening in, in young younger folks too, based upon upon uh, other uh, other factors. And 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 these and these these all all affect you. All, all of these kind of thoughts inf influence you every single minute of every single day. So if your thoughts are negative, it will be influencing you every single day. It affects, and so it affects your uh, thoughts, it affects your moods, and really ramp, ramps up all of your fears. All of these things, again, have a profound effect at just pounding against that, that etheric body, punching holes, holes in it, and creating up opportunity for, for illness and, and, and disease. It also affects your 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 view of yourself and of the world. If you're not, if you don't have a real good 
vision of yourself, you probably don't have a real good vision of the world. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, the world is, is a ter terrible place. How do you see yourself? I'm just, I've, I have all these, all these negative things. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. Uh, I have all these, these fears. It's a self-fulfilling pro pro prophecy and it impacts on yourself and on your world. So wherever there are holes in your etheric body, you, you actually lose, lose an, an energy. And when, when, when the, the physical body starts starts losing in energy, it starts to break down. And that just gives an opportunity for uh, for, 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 for Ill, illness and then disease to, to, to really kind of come in and take and take take and take root. So we actually live in a negative thought thought world. About 70% of all of our thoughts, there's some interesting research on this, are, are negative thoughts. And there was a, there was a gentleman, a cardi cardiologist who, who wrote a book years ago called uh, be, be Careful What You Pray, pray, pray For. And what 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 he's what he found in his 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 research, his name is Larry Dodd Dossie, is that about seventy percent of all prayers are negative, are about wishing wishing bad things to happen to somebody else, or uh, or actually wishing bad things to happen to your to to, to yourself as as a, as a form of, of self punishment, and when when he published this book, he got a ton, an absolute ton of, of letters, because this was before the days of email. He got a ton of, of, of letters back. He got thousands and thousands of letters talking to him about his, 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 his book. And he said that about 70% of, of the response to his book were, were negative thoughts, wishing him, wishing him bad things, that, that he would die, that he would ball, you know, fall and break his leg, that you know, he's a horrible human being. So it, it really was kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. 70% is negative. The thing is, is that we seem to be predisposed to negative. So if you're predisposed to negative, we are predisposed to illness. They're, they, they're, they, they're, they, the one fa fa follows the, the other. Ninety percent of all news 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 media, no matter where it comes from, no matter who's doing it, is negative. Negative sells. Positive dud dud doesn't. Nobody reports the, the news anymore. They report their interpretation of of, of 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 the news, and they're always making sure that you're that that you're that that that, that they're uh, gin, ginning up your your emotional re responses. Bad news, really bad news, outweighs good news by the rate of says seventeen to uh, to one. One, one in 10 American adults checks at the news every hour. So one, one in 10 is being inundated with, with, with negative news every single hour. 27 to 20 uh, percent of those exposed to negative news that develop anxiety. Many of my, my patients who come to me because of anxiety, they all watch too much news and they all listen to an uh, to the news and just get wired just 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 get wired up about about it. Uh, sixty nine percent actually interesting. Sixty nine percent of us actually prefer reading negative to positive. So most of us prefer reading about hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes to uh, you know little Tommy's dog uh, that that fell in 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 into the sewer was re res rescued. We would rather read about death and this 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 destruction than happiness and uh, health. I, I think it's 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 fast fast fascinating. Um, 660, this is important. 63% of kids say that news makes them feel bad. This is important because children's energy systems are not yet developed. So things that, that impact their energy systems as a child will stay with them their whole lives. I can remember things that I was told when I was a, when, when I was a child, that I was told when I was a child that I can still remember today like it happened today. And there's always an emotion that goes with it. And that emotion, it, it doesn't seem to, to, to die out. So what you say to your, to your children, how you talk to your children, how you encourage or discourage your, your children will probably have a major effect on, um, on, on, on their health down the, down, down the road. Now, we, we, we talk about illness and disease being, being genetic. I think this uh, particular aspect of it has a greater impact than being uh, gen gen genetic. I think that, that, uh, that the, the environment a child grows, grows up in is a much greater determiner of health or, 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 or Ill illness. Nothing can harm you as much as your own unguarded, guard, guarded thoughts. That's uh, that's absolutely true. Absolutely, how you think about yourself, how you think about others, can 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 cause over time can cause great great harm to you physically, mentally, and 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 spiritually. So let's let's look at thoughts and the and 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 the body. Our physical body is unable to make any independent decisions. It does it 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 has to respond literally to every thought 
that you have and to every thought that others have. So let's say you're, that you're having a good day and yet your body's re responding in kind. It feels pretty decent. And somebody comes up to you and says, oh, have you gained weight? You don't look very good. Do we continue with our, with our happy thoughts? No, we suddenly accept their thoughts. Then your body starts to feel achy you, you, and, and feel heavy and feel un, uncomfortable <clears throat> because the body has to respond to literally every single thought. Negative thoughts increase the, the, the risk of illness and, 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 and disease, and we've known this for a long, long time. So one of my fa favorite stories is the story of a Na Native American grandfather talking to his, to his grandson, telling him about life. And, and, and when, what he says to him, he says, he says, says grand, grand, grandson, you, you have two wolves inside of you that are constantly fighting for dominance. One is a black wolf, and 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 it's and it and it's uh, it's anger and greed and 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 uh, you know makes you makes you un, 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 unhappy and violent, and, and and all these negative things. And the other one uh, is is a white white wolf that is you know love and, and positive and, and healthy, and and you know, it makes life life good for you. And and he, and, and, and he says, and, and one of them will win. The black wolf or the white wolf, one of them will win, and the little the little grand grandson is is obviously you know uh, 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 thinking deep and getting somewhat distraught, and he goes, "How do I know which one's going to win?" And the grandfather says, "The the one that will win is the one that 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 you feed. So if you're feeding with if you're feeding negative, negative is going to win." Okay, Bruce Bruce Lee, a very very interesting, a good, excellent martial artist and interesting philosopher, said, "Do not speak negatively about yourself, even as a joke. Your body does not know the difference. Your body doesn't know the difference. It doesn't know uh, idiom. It, it doesn't know alternate meanings. It is a, a literal or, organ. Words are energy, and they cast spells. And then this 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 thing about casting spells. This is actually the the basis of." Uh, uh, dark, 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 dark mag magicians is uh, uh, using uh, words to uh, to uh, uh, create neg negativity. Okay, thoughts and body. Body is un is un un unable to. Oh, I, I did that already. <laughs> okay, so what what do you think uh, uh, your your body will re respond to? So if you say I am forgetful. Uh, and you say it on a regular basis. You, your body will will make sure that you're forgetful. Okay, if you say I am always in pain. Your body will say, "Okay, we are always going to be in pain. You need to change your your view of pain so that you're not always in pain." But if you're if you say, "I'm always in pain," your body will will definitely oblige. I am scared of getting whatever the, 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 the disease it is. I have a couple of patients who 20 years ago told me that they were worried about developing a certain d disease. They had no history of it in their family. They had no uh, lifestyle that was conducive to that. They had no risk factors whatsoever. And today. Both of them have the disease that they were afraid of getting 20 years ago. So either, either they're clairvoyant, which I don't think that they are, or they created their own their own their own ill 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 illness. I'm never going to get well. This, this is a common one. Well, if you're never going to get well, if you think that, then it doesn't matter what you do, you'll never get well. Okay, I have, I've had some patients doing physical ther therapy that say I'm never going to get better, never going to get better, and and they don't respond to the to, to, to the physical therapy at all, uh, or or pe people are inadequate. This one is is very common. Everybody feels inadequate in something. It just it depends how much time you spend uh, feeling in, in, in inadequate and old and frail. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I should expect all all these all these these illnesses I have because I'm 70 years years old and I and 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 I'm really frail. Age age is not much of a factor for getting ill illness. Uh, uh, so if you uh, but 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 if you're thinking yourself that you're frail, that's pretty negative. If you think getting old is negative, that's pretty neg negative too. It will manifest itself, and you will be old, and you will be frail. That because that's what you're thinking that you want to be. So let's let's look at some num num numbers. Let's look at, at, at depressive thoughts and and the incidence and, se and severity of coronary artery disease and, and, and myocardial infarctions or heart attacks. There there there's o o over eight thousand. Um, uh, uh, research art articles in the traditional medical literature linking depressive thoughts with severity and, and incidence of heart pro pro problems. And, uh, the, and, and this, I think, is interesting because COVID's only, only been around a few years. But 
depressive thoughts increase the uh, the risk of severity of COVID, the longevity of COVID, the chance of hospitalization of COVID, the chance of developing long COVID, the the chance of of, of end end organ damage second to COVID. Sixteen thousand articles over the past four four years uh, linking uh, depressive thoughts and the severity of COVID. Type two diabetes. Uh, uh, 22,000 articles, inflammation and pain, 15,000 articles, um, early death or sudden death, 21,000 articles, just with negative thoughts, just with de de depressive thoughts. So let's let's let let's talk some some pr uh, pr pr protection strategies. You you can change your, your your environment. You can avoid things. You you can build shells and walls. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about uh, crystals. We, we we might talk about crystals. Time time times an issue, uh, and and we talk about about being in nature. You can change yourself, and this this is really the 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 the, the goal is is to is to actively resist negative thoughts, and 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 to increase positive thoughts, and and you can do that through med meditation and energy practice and healing of yourself. Okay, so when we talk about avoidance, um, it doesn't mean going in and living in, in the forest all by yourself. This is an interesting picture because because this this person's got a life a life life say say saving ring locked onto his well, locked on onto his, his his abode and it doesn't look like like there, there there's any water around. But one thing that you can do is you can just stop. You can just really limit news and and and, and media. You can limit being in, in groups that are negative, and these are all groups, even even fam, fam, family groups. You can you can uh, work on uh, uh, recognizing negative negative things at, at at work and avoid avoiding these rather 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 than trying 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 to deal with them. You you can link a positive thought. A good way of doing it is to link a positive thought to a negative thought. So you have a negative thought, immediately link a positive thought to it. Then when that negative thought comes back in, what 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 what, what will happen is that it will be constantly linked to a positive thought, and 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 eventually you're going to starve the negative, and you're going to feed the positive, and you start doing this with everything. And so your your thoughts be, 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 become overall more positive and your health overall becomes more uh, uh, becomes better this is a very effective thing but you have to practice at it you just not, just can't do it one one time walls walls and, and and shelves are good you actually put up a wall around you you mentally put up a wall it's very effective uh, and it's really best in, in crowds or if you're if you're tra traveling at the airport where there's a lot of negative there never used to be this much negative at airport there is so you you can pr protect yourself with this the down downside is it constantly needs constantly needs to be re renewed. About every every 20 minutes to a half an hour, you need to kind of re-energize re your wall. Another downside is that it blocks receiving and sending. So if somebody's sending you good thoughts, it's going to block it. If you're going to send somebody good thoughts, it's going to it's going to block it. So it's a form of isolation. It's it's good temp temp temporarily, but it's it's it, it's not good. Um, I think all 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 the time you can become a very long 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 lonely person. Um, a lot of p p p p p People like using crystals because historically they've been used as a, as a protection. They they don't really pr pr protect. It has to do with the fact that crystals vibrate at a very high free, free, free frequency and it stimulates your own high freak frequencies. So it makes you unresponsive to the low frequencies of negative or of negative thoughts, your own negative thoughts and negative thoughts of others. So you spend more time. Uh, in in the higher frequencies and and the positive thoughts and if you if if you're around crystals long enough it can kind of start to to reset your system to being more positive uh, overall and being and being less negative it can remove it attachments which are, are negative thoughts that somebody has on 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 you this would be a thought form remember it goes somewhere and it can re re remove blocks and these are negative thoughts that you have about yourself so it can help to re to remove these because now you're vi vibrating at a much higher frequency and they just kind of slide 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 off almost like you're coating yourself in tef te teflon and it feels it, it feels it feels good so I, I like it in na nature we are part of this physical world uh, we are not separate from from, from it uh, we are nature and nature is us. We are in, 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 intertwined, intimately in, in intertwined. Nature is sentient. It has thoughts. Trees have thoughts. Plants have thoughts. Moss has thoughts. 
bacteria ha uh, uh, um, uh, uh, and anything that, that lives has, has some level of thoughts. The Native Americans uh, believe that, that water has thoughts, that, that stone has thoughts, that air has thoughts. Uh, nature is sen sen sentient, and the, the, the more time we spend in it, the better we are, because it's always in balance. It feeds the positive, it starts, starts the negative. This is the reason why uh, when, 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 you, when, you, when you go to healing ret 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 retreats and, and you know, health spas, Gen, 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 generally, they're 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 lo located some somewhere in na nature. They're not located on the 32nd floor of, of an office bill, build a build, building in Times Square. They're in na nature. So. Uh, we, we, we can raise free frequency. Uh, high frequency is not affected by low frequency. High frequency tends to be positive. Low frequency tends to be negative. Meditation, over 5,000 art articles in the traditional medical literature looking at the benefits of, of regular med meditation for any illness and for all illnesses and, and, and diseases. Uh, Qigong or in, in, in Oriental medicine or prana in Ayurvedic medicine, uh, over 800 are articles in the traditional medical literature. Uh, being in nature often is 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 profoundly healing, uh, and, and that's the reason why we tend to be crave we tend to crave to uh, to be in nature, be in the mountains, be by the ocean. This is an interesting one, and sending healing energy to others. That healing energy has to go through you before it goes to somebody else. As it goes through you, it helps to heal you, helps to raise your own frequency. So being kind and and best wishes and healing energy to others, you actually help yourself. And if you really want to help yourself. Learn how to become an energy healer, because now you're you're channeling, oops, even even larger amounts of of, of, of healing and, and energy to others. And as you do that, it heals it heals you. So if you want to uh, uh, to be healthy, the bottom line uh, is to stop feeding your uh, your black 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 wolf and 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 starts and, and just really start 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 fo focusing on on, on on positive thoughts and your white white wolf. So I, I, I want to want, want to thank you for, for for spending time time here with with me on this uh, uh, beautiful beautiful wind, 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 winter day uh, for 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 all all of you folks who are in the Chicago area, uh, stay uh, dry and 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 stay 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 warm. If you uh, send send me an email with a, with a question, I will answer it. It might take me a week or so, depending upon how many emails there are, but I will answer it. Um, if you could limit it to one email and or to, to one question or one question or two two questions, uh, that would make my my life so much easier and uh, stim stimulate my positive thoughts and not my negative thoughts. So thank th thank you very 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 much, and I, I and 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 best the best of health for you going forward. Thank you. And thank you, Dr. Massey. Absolutely fascinating. And what a wonderful job you did taking a very complex subject and kind of honing it down for us. So yeah, wow, wow, very, very fascinating. Um, and I understand there's, I mean, so much more to learn, right? They've just kind of tapped into it. So yes, yeah, it's, it, uh, I, I, I condensed about about seven le 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 lectures into this to, to, to this, this this one, so it was <laughs> it was it was coming fast fast and furious. Yep, and you did an excellent job. Thank you so much. Thank, and thank, I just want you. to um, remind our audience that if you do have questions, um, Dr. Massey has graciously um, said that he would answer them. So if you want to just take a minute, because this will be your only opportunity to do that, you can take a minute and type them into the chat bubble on your screen submit them and then I'll get them and I will forward them to Dr. Massey. So, um, wow, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna listen to this one again just to comprehend it and let my brain work and, <laughs> and think about it. <laughs> gonna gonna um, think about, about your thoughts. I'm gonna think about my thoughts, yes. Um, <laughs> and just to remind our audience as well, about an hour after we end this presentation today, you will receive an email with a link to the replay. So be sure to um, to look for that. You know, it, it should go directly to your email, which what, with whatever email you signed up for, but always check your spam folder just in case. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and yes, and I'd like to uh, thank you once again, thank the NHRI for um, posting this wonderful information and I hope we can do it again soon. Cool.
Cool. So, all right. Thank all right, you, everyone. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And thank you, everyone, for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye now.